damn. Well, maybe I might use the saw. The feline, though. Secondary. I'm gonna use the SOCOM. There's the Deagle. Look at that. So much damage. All in. <laughs> Weapons? Totally. Uh, I get an M104. M107 Light 50. There we go. There's the M107. 75 grand. Can't even upgrade it or anything. I do not want the aggro. I want Rio sticking on the aggro. My M107, baby. Oh my god, body armor, light, medium, medium, heavy. No, it's very little gear style. Urban War, Desert Shield, Assertive, Outlander, that's Ranger, Sideshow, side Islander, Clyde, Red Devil, the Haka, Pell Rider, that's who I was, I was the Pell Rider. But I think for this, I'll probably stick with the regular masks. Just because. Alright guys, so this is Army of Two, the very first one. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the whole series in general. But, without further ado, I hope to God they, they, they put in the 40th day next and then the Devil's Cartel afterwards. Because if they do, as soon as the 40th day comes out on um, on backwards compatibility, I'm on that. And then as soon as Devil's Cartel comes out, I'm on that one too. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Let's go. Let's go. New campaign. I am Salem. We're gonna go with recruit because it's probably not gonna have any, not gonna have any remorse because this one's gonna be this is an older game. All right, listen up. This is combat. You can die in combat. Ah! If you don't want to die, you have to use aggro. This is you. This is your partner. These are enemies. You shoot at them, attract their attention, they're gonna shoot at you, not your partner. Let's say you both shoot at them. If your partner has a bigger gun, the enemy will shoot at him instead of you. This is called aggro. If your partner has all the aggro, you're basically invisible. You can sneak around enemies, do whatever you want. But if you, it's like you're glowing red. You even have a field aggro meter. 
Now go out there and kick some ass! God, the sensitivity on this. It slides. You guys see this? Okay. The main thing to work on here is suppressive fire. Basically, keep yourself behind cover and fire blindly. Over. Press and hold left bumper and press down the D pad to select your gun. Oh, this thing is holy shit, Rios. Take all the aggro. What the hell are you doing? Good job, Rangers. <laughs> Big up, Xiao. <laughs> Right, there you go. Ah! Salem, Rios is getting too hot. Draw some fire away from 
It's over, dude. Team work, Rangers. All right, we. Funny you should ask. One of the most important pieces of equipment any Army Ranger has in the field is their GPS. Why don't you take a look at yours and see if you can figure it out on your own? Oh, that shit is beautiful. Whenever enemies come at you from opposite sides, go back to back. Over. We're surrounded. Back to back. Just one more bullet. Brother and I's game is the fact that Rios and Salem are like brothers. That's how Rangers do it. Great job. We only have one thing left to teach you, but I gotta warn you, this one's gonna hurt. I know what happens. Well, this thing is turning into a real shitstorm. They hired some hotshot mercenary named Philip Clyde to take down Mo Aleem instead of us. He's the best of the best, but he's a little unstable. So I want you two to meet him at the old Continental Hotel and make sure he actually takes out Mo Aleem like he's supposed to. Do it yourself if you have to. Alright. Because they're going to take out Mo Aleem. Now with PNC contact Clyde, eliminate Somali warlord Moali. Okay. I don't think there's any collectibles or anything, is there? I doubt it. I don't think so. I don't know. Dude, it feels like I'm playing the old Lara Croft games. Come on, Rios. some hostiles up there. I'll give you a boost up and you can take them out. All right, nice and easy. So right here. Okay. I'll help you up. I know on this one you can literally leave your partner behind. Not a problem. 
I really gotta tell. Like, shit. This is gonna be a problem, guys. There we go. Oh, that does mechanics though. Yo, reels. Being a savage. That's dead. And this is Private First Class Elliot Sailor, Chalk 4, U.S. Army Rangers. Are you Philip Clark? What the fuck do you think? Bro, we're supposed to help you take out Colonel Mo Ali. First of all, I ain't your bro, bro. Second of all, you don't test or anything else. You are a moron. Now that we got that cleared up, why don't you just shut the fuck up and watch a real professional in action? You might learn a thing or two. All right, Professor. Why don't you start by teaching us where Mo Ali is? He's right here, inside the Continental Hotel. Why do you think I had you meet me here? There's too many of them, we need to find cover. Here, yeah. let me teach you a little trick. <laughs> what do you rip off the door of that vehicle? What? You heard me. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Nice trick, buddy. Get him. I need some damn support fire now! Got you covered, soldier. There you go. Be, be aggressive, Rios. Be aggressive. Don't stop. Be aggressive, Rios. There you go. There you go, Rios. Kick some ass. Our 
god, I'm bad right now. Transfer the second half of my fee into my account. Yeah, they're both here. I'll take them with me to extraction. You two better run. Shit. You okay, man? <laughs> this ain't funny. We could have been chilling and head around the other side of this building. We need to secure the marketplace so Dalton can land the chopper for extraction. We gotta talk to Dalton. This guy is such an asshole. I know. I tried to tell him before, but he wasn't having any of it. Man, that's what sucks about the Army. We don't get to choose what missions we go on or who we work with. We just have to follow orders. Are you just now figuring this out? <laughs> Maybe. You two should use synchronous snipe to take out that gas tank. The blast will kill those guards. Oh yeah, we learned about that. Then take him out. And you're welcome for the little pointer. Ready to go. I need some damn support fire now! Okay, Elliot. Dude, 
this game gets a remaster. Brand new mechanics. It's basically a remake of it, you know? It's gonna be the shit. Alice Murray. She'll be handling your missions. <laughs> you remember Philip Clyde? Listen, I ain't working with that guy ever again. He won't have to. He reports directly to me. Does solo missions for me only. In his farewell address to the nation, President Eisenhower left America with a strong warning. Ernest Stockwell, CEO of Security and Strategy Corporation, says that warning was misguided and our future to private military. To fear the military industrial complex is to fear progress. Look at the operation in Somalia. 35 U.S. soldiers dead, hundreds wounded. But not a single private contractor was injured in the operation. We outperformed the military and achieved all our objectives flawlessly. Some critics will call this profiteering, but I call it. Real fast, so get ready. Tyson, are you listening to me? Yeah. Noon. I'll be there. Okay. Let's run through this one more time. You parachute to the mountaintop helipad, disabling any localized defenses. From here, you'll enter the cave complex at its highest point and work your way down. This used to be a launch site for Russia's M11 missiles. It's been abandoned for 15 years, until two years ago when Mohammed Al-Habib, a leading Al-Qaeda operative, found it. He's been working to make the missiles operational again. The M11 is an intermediate-range ballistic missile. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that they are never launched. First, you'll need to destroy any missiles in the upper region of the cave complex. Then go down to the lower regions, destroy any missiles there, and find Brian Hicks. He's one of ours. Send him to do the same job as he's still being held captive by Al-Habi. You'll need to bring him back alive. There's also a bonus if you take out Al-Habi. He's extremely dangerous and an expert killer, so be careful. Questions? No, sir. Good. And one more thing. Everything you see or do down there never happened. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, I'll access mid-mission shopping. I don't know what I can buy.
What do I have? I have, <laughs> I have 15,000. Okay. We are set and ready to go.
AK from? Oh shit. Very unrelenting because it's got a different style of combat. Shit, this hurts. Very uh, weird style of combat. Step jump, Tice, over here. Now we're gonna do that one. We're we'll trying to do this in hour intervals. Hey, look, that's an M11 missile. Shit, that's no joke. One of those could do some serious damage. Some armor on us. <laughs> oh, that that is beautiful. Salem, you copy? I hear you, boss. I've lost signal from the cameras. So you guys are on your own. Step 
Jump Salem. Hold on there, Rios. I don't see anybody. I'll help you up. You and your huge muscular arm there. Look at that madness. Look at that <laughs> madness. Uh. Be aggressive. Okay, Be aggressive, Rios. Be aggressive, Rios. Brutality. I don't know if it's this one. Come here, bro. Or if it's in the 40th day. Real choke slam someone. That's a fair price. I can get this agent from other sources. Such a pity you won't be given that opportunity. Grab him! H hey! Wait! No! What the hell is that about? I don't know. Sounds like he was trying to buy something, some kind of aid. Rios to Dalton. You copy? Yeah, I hear you. Over. How are we getting down to the lower level? Over. You'll need to base jump. Hicks left an extra parachute on the ledge up ahead. It should still be in good enough shape. Over. There's the parachute. And what if it doesn't work? There's only one way to find out.
Uh, I'm driving. I got the big guy in front of me. I got some news for you. This is straight from Stockwell. Not announced yet, so need to keep it on the DL, okay? Sure. We just acquired Black Mountain Industries. SSC is now the largest contractor in the world. Black Mountain? Those guys nearly killed us in Mexico. Just doing their job. Anyway, don't tell Stockwell I told you any of this. Yeah, like we talk to him every day. All right, boys. Over and out. Indiana! <laughs> Go ahead, Rios. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sorry, Rios, but I'm gonna like zigzag us. I do some zigzags. There you go, Rios. Oh, damn, Rios, just just kill everybody. Okay. I don't know who's the better shot here. Uh, personally, I don't think we should be still going right now. Come on, Rios. Sailor. Got one. Two, actually. Oh, the kicks. Oh, my God, those kicks. All right, ready? It's actually in this area that I got the minigun. I remember this. When I first played this, I got I picked up the minigun instead. <sighs> I wonder how. Evacuate immediately. Missile launching. Yes. Maybe it was further on down. I want to use it. Seventy-five. Jesus, I was probably playing this for a while. That's the only way to answer that. I have seven thousand. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. This is gonna be our child. Master key. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm gonna go ahead and get the grip.
Not bad, not bad of an appearance. Just increases my aggro but way too much. I have a thousand, is that what this is? We have a thousand left. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the... It's gonna take us a while to get. We'll see. Evacuate immediately. Missile launching. But hey guys, this is actually where I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. Um hope you guys enjoyed it so so far. I know I am I love this game. We're probably going to burn right straight through it, guaranteed. Um, just let me know, like, if you want me to do playthrough as Rios. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But, once, uh, I've always been a fan of Salem, so I'm always going to play Salem. And all of the, in the 40th day, and in this one, I played as Salem. That's just that's just who my character is. Sadly in the Devil's Cartel there's only two characters. There's Alpha and Bravo. And if you're playing on a one play you have to be Alpha. Which personally I would prefer to be Bravo. Just because of the fact that like Bravo is more like the Salem. And then Alpha is more like the real except Alpha's the more averaged sized character and then bravo he was an enforcer so like but he's not big he's not big and bulky like rios is he's still he's just he's bigger heavy set he's more he's just bigger you know just got more broader he's got broader shoulders he's kind of like just you know he's he's like look at alpha would be a boxer Bravo be a UFC fighter. Look at it that way, you know, sort of thing. Uh, but, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, I am your host, Jay. Leave a like, comment, press the button, contrary to the popular belief. Please do. <sighs> thank you guys so much for everything. This is One Half of Disasters. Signing off.